Hello and welcome to Software Pulse building Java desktop applications and I'm John McNeil. And welcome to the third video in the series of videos on how to build a web service. In this video, sorry, in the previous video we saw how we wrote the code for our web service. Um, we produced an implementation cl class and then we produced a class that um, implemented that interface and, and explained exactly what we needed to do when the web service is called. And in this video, we're going to take a look at packaging that up into a web archive file ready for deployment to a web service. So in order to do that, we will go back to our Eclipse um, Java for Enterprise Edition and our project. And you can see this is where we left our Hello Age project. So what we need to do now is we need a web XML file. Now, unusually, when I create this project, I didn't get one. I would have expected to have got one um, in my web inf directory over there, but I didn't. So not to be put off, I'm simply going to create one and fill it in. Um, so I'll just create a file and then I will call it web XML and press the finish button. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to populate this file and then I'll talk a bit about it. So the first two lines th that's just simply the, the header for the web XML file. Um, it's a standard thing you just copy it and paste it into the one you're doing if, it, if you don't have one. The next bit um, is we're making use of a listener class that is provided as part of the whole Java environment. It's, it's provided so that Java's got something it can you can use as a listener. Um, so we're just reusing that. And then the next bit is the bit where it's specific to us. So do you remember we called our service hello service our class name called hello service actually it was our interface wasn't it so um, that's our servlet name and then we're just saying yeah I want you to use that to process this and then we come down to the mapping so we're saying our servlet name that we've just said we're going to use up here right is that and then we're going to have a hello url pattern so you didn't see this when i used soap ui to call the web service but when i called the web service in soap ui i actually passed the hello to you url pattern um, and because of this mapping here, it knew to invoke this hello service class. So I'm going to save that. And over in our web inf directory, we now have our web XML. But we need another file that's missing. What we need is we need something to tell the Java, Java API um, how to connect to the web service so we use a JAX web service so a Java extended web service XML file so again we're going to create a file in exactly the same way as we did for the web XML in exactly the same place um, but now we're Java extended web service dot XML And, and again, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put the text in here. So again, the, the first two lines is a copy and paste for that's what it needs. And then we have to define the endpoints. So we've got 
so I had some dirt on my screen and it made me look like made it look like I'd spelt hello the German way but um, it was just some dirt so the name is hello service which maps to what we did in the previous file the implementation for it so so far we've been putting it the interface the implementation is this hello service imp so the whole package name to it and the URL pattern that needs to be that's going to be used is hello to you so that's where everything starts to come that's where all the naming of everything starts to come together so we save that right the next bit is there's a bit of jargon we need to create some web service um, web service artifacts is what they're referred to as um, but basically what we need to do why don't we do it and then we'll have a look at what we get let's do it that way so normally I try and explain what I'm doing and then do it but let's let's, let's do it so what we're going to do is we are going to take these two files the implementation and the um, and the interface files from the point of software pulse which was my entry point so that's the start of the package so I'm just going to right click on software pulse and copy and I'm going to find a nice folder out of the way and paste all of that in there so what I'm going to end up with is a big long directory file and my two files and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a command prompt and I'm going to run um, a a tool that is provided with Java it's actually provided with Java standard edition um, but that's what I'm going to do so again um, I'm not, I'm not sure how well you're going to see it here, but let, let me put it in here and, and then see whether it's readable. Uh, well, that's clearly not readable because that's not what I was after. Um, right. So, unlike a lot of people um, who, who do these sorts of things, I don't have Java in my path. I don't have Java home defined. Um, so if I ever want to call anything to do with Java, I have to explicitly call the whole path to where the file is. So the first part, this whole C program files, Java, JDK, 1.8, you see I'm using 1.8.0 underscore 91, bin directory, and then I'm calling WSGen, so web service generate. And I'm passing a switch saying um, hyphen CP, meaning class path, is the current directory I'm in. And I'm in this C extras bytecode, which is this one here, where my the code I wrote in Eclipse is. And then I've got hyphen space, sorry, hyphen keep software pulse hello service imp. So I'm saying after you've processed this don't don't throw away these files keep them for me okay so I'm going to press enter and hopefully everything will work and there we go it doesn't look good though because it looks like it's giving me the help file Class not found. Ah, I know exactly what I've done wrong. But the one thing I was going to tell you that don't get wrong, I've gone and got wrong. Um, coming back to Eclipse, <laughs> I'm sorry about this. Um, you don't want the Java files. You don't want the source code, which is exactly what I copied. You want the compiled class. So just to make sure I get the latest thing, I'm going to build my project. I'm going to go to the build folder, classes, software files, web, app, 
hello age there so everything from software pulse I'm going to copy I'll come back to my file here I'll go all the way back to bytecode and then I will go paste and I will go yes replace all of that and now when I come in here I actually want to just remove those two Java files so there's no confusion I've got the class files so this is the bytecode of my web service um, so now if I go back to my command prompt that should work and there we are it has worked and you'll notice it's put another folder in there the Java extended web service folder and in there will be both the byte code and the source code for what we want so the good news is <laughs> that it worked so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy uh, I know I didn't copy it last time I was going to say I'm just going to copy that file that folder and post it but I was thinking I didn't do that last time and I was trying to work out why I didn't do that um, and it's because I don't want the, the dot class extensions I just want the dot Java extensions so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to Eclipse I'm going to find my source folder and go all the way down to where it says hello age where my um, where my source code was and I'm going to right click on there and I'm going to go new and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to have JAXWS for Java extended web service and create a new folder and then I'm going to come back here to where my web service generator generated these files say hello and say hello response notice how they're called say hello because we um, stipulated that earlier so I'm going to copy those two and I'm going to paste them into my JXWS folder there so that's where they are so um, why don't we open up those files and see what we've got So say hello. Um, so it's just saying that it's going to get two arguments. Um, one is going to go there, sorry, arg zero, and one is going to be there, an integer. Um, and it's going to be, it's just, they're just getters and setters like you would get in um, standard Java. Uh, so it's a plain old Java object if you if you if you like to think of it where they've just said we've got two variables and we've got getters and setters for it and then what we've got is a whole load of information here to say what it belongs to or, or to say what namespace it belongs to um, web services in fact the web in general is very big on namespaces um, very similar to, and, and also it's very akin to XML which I think a lot of the web services stuff is built on and then hello response very similar sort of thing um, it's got a return string and a getter and setter for the return string so I think I believe those two bits that we've just produced get wired up to the web service so when you call a web service they do the getting and the setting and then they get passed back to the classes we've written that do the work and then they set the response and then that gets sent back using the web service container and, and the HTML server. So the hardest part about any web service is the packaging and wiring everything up. The actual code whilst challenging can be challenging. These things um, take a lot of bits and pieces to come together there's lots of layers you have to put together and that's why tools are prevalent anyway enough about that we've got all the code we need I think is where we are at what we need to do now is we are ready to create our web archive file so I'm just going to build the project again just to make sure that uh, oh mainly because I have regenerated these hello class files say hello class file and say hello response class file I could have copied and pasted the ones we had in the folder but I can just regenerate them now because I've got the source code. 
So when we're there, um, so what we can do now is um, I want to do a file export and probably web, web service. Mm. Wire file, not web service, wire file. Um, so we're, wire file, next. Um, I can give it a destination. Um, I'm gonna have to browse because I can't think of anything. Um, uh, extras, I'll put it in extras. And we'll call it hello age wire file because that's what it defaulted to. And finish. So if I go and have a look in my extras folder, uh, there we are. Hello wire file. Um, it's 3,441K, so 3 meg-ish. Um, and there's our wire file. And if you had a web service already up and running and in place, because there's nothing special and complicated about this, you could just pick it up, drop it in, and it would auto load, and then you could call it. But anyway, what we will do is that's what we'll do in the next video. Um, so um, we can see that and we can see how we build up the SOAP UI um, test tools um, um, request that we saw right at the very beginning of the first video. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope it's still been interesting, if a bit long winded. Um, I'm John McNeil, this is Software Pulse building Java desktop applications, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next video, the final one. Thank you for watching.